Okay, so I'm with Simon after the 4-0 win over Boston United. But Simon, in 20 years of football, I've never seen anything like that. No, not at all. Um, a little bit embarrassing, to be honest. Uh, you know, they had two sendings offs. Perhaps one of them was a bit unfortunate, but you know, we've had plenty of decisions that like that that have gone against us. And um, obviously, we had the numerical advantage, and uh, you know, we, we made them pay for for that for that advantage and that, for gaining that advantage. And we, you know, we deserved the win. But um, and then they had a few injuries, and then it became a little bit of a farce in the last 15 minutes. What do you say to the team at half time? Because you know, two men to the good. It was a bit of a strange one from the from the six minute, really. Yeah, I, I mean, suddenly you've got pressure on yourselves. And, you know, and I thought the lads played with a bit of pressure on themselves because the the weight of expectation, really, that you know we really should be winning this quite convincingly now. Um, but at the end of the day, we earned decisions going our way because of the pressure of, of the big physicality of Chris Wall up front and the running behind of Ashley Warsfold and. Um, the struggle to defend against it, and you know, if, if it was the last man, I think the first man, and I say the, the second man, I'm not sure if they'd cover on or not. Um, but uh, y you know, that was quite direct play for us for a change, and you know, it worked in our favour. Um, uh, you know, and we, we just had to relax the lads down and say, you know, you burnt that, you still 1 0 up, you're winning, relax and play when we can. Better, better and higher tempo, we have to set and get the ball in the box, which is what's doing the damage, and um, we did do straight away. And Chris Hall seems to have found a, a newfound confidence because he's, he's banging him in at the moment. Yeah, he, he's doing what you know what we all know he can do, and uh, from when I, I remember him at Staley Bridge and Bradford Park Avenue, he's, he's a big specimen, um, he can certainly head a ball, you know, and we, we've worked on uh, positional play, the front end runs into the box and, and delivery entries into the box as well in training, and it's paying off. Now when they went down to seven men, obviously we were keeping the ball a lot at the back, just passing it around. Was that a deliberate thing that you said to the team, just sort of like, you know, just basically play easy, or was it something that the team just decided to do? Uh, no, I mean, obviously you go for a team's throats, but, you know, the linesman informed me that another injury and they'd have to abandon the game. Uh, we, we just, to be honest, we wanted the, the points in the bag and we didn't want any confrontation with a player or they didn't want them to have an excuse for having another sudden injury so um, they nearly was one but fortunately they ended up with enough uh, bodies on the pitch for us to see the result out. I mean did your heart sink when the, the other lad went down it could have made it down to six men? Uh, no because it, you know you'd be disappointed you'd be disappointed for all the spectators as well who, you know who've, who've turned up today and well our supporters anyway and um, you know you, you want the game to finish properly don't you? So it's be on now to Brackley. How do we attack that match? Well, much the same way as we approached it today. I mean, it obviously, it, it ended a, a little bit differently from from how probably everyone envisaged it. But um, we've just got to go with the same attitude, same intensity, work our socks off, and hopefully we can pull off another decent result. I wonder what Joe Einstein must be thinking. Obviously, he makes his home debut, and then he's sort of faced with that, and never really got to touch the ball. Yeah, I felt really sorry for him actually because. I mean, it's the first time I've sent on a player, Jamal Smith, and I said, go easy with the tackling. I thought, I can't believe that should come out of my mouth. Um, but uh, he was unlucky for Joe as well. And to be honest, though, when he did get it, it looked, it looked very dangerous. And it's going to be a great acquisition for us. That's great. Well, thank you very much, Simon, for Cheers taking the time. Cheers. Thank you.